The Wall Street Journal reported yesterday that it looks like America is indeed in a recession. But what exactly do they mean? Well, technically, a recession is a decline in the gross domestic product for two or more consecutive quarters. It's literally a slowing down of business activity in the country. Uh, but how did this happen? Most experts are blaming a rise in oil costs and energy costs and a decrease in the value of the dollar. Uh, but I blame another source, this guy. <laughs> This is reality TV personality, Ryan Seacrest, and he represents the central weakness of the American economy, our love of crap. We love crap so much, we've sent crap fabrication jobs offshore so we can have the Chinese make crap for less, which means more and more of our dollars going, over, are going overseas for just about everything that we buy. Since consumerism accounts for about 70% of our economy, you can imagine that accounts for a lot of crap made in China. In the meantime, we've lowered the value of the dollar, so other countries will feel like they're getting a deal on the crap that we make. But the Chinese have gotten so good at making crap that they've convinced everybody to buy their crap instead. In the meantime, they've got the money to start buying whatever the Saudis are willing to charge for oil. And the Saudis know a sucker when they see one. <laughs> Now, a recession isn't necessarily a bad thing. It could force Americans to reconsider our dependence on foreign crap. We might demand that jobs come back to America, push for better standards in education, and allow for a more competitive workforce, one that's ready to compete on a worldwide stage. And we might also decide once and for all that anyone that uses the term flip when describing anything other than acrobatics or vomiting should be launched into space forever and ever. <laughs> The alternative, if you thought Waterworld was a terrible movie, imagine it as your life. And that was the week in context. <laughs>